You want me to open up for little kids? I'm not opening up for no kids. Candy girl kids. It ain't happening. Curtis, come on, baby. You know the game. They hot as fish grease. It done sold out every club on the East Coast. And this is New York, and I'm the king of New York. Been in here with them kids. Have you been snorting that stuff, or did you just forget what I've done? <laughs> come on, baby, it's me. And it's me. Hey, Mr. Curtis, mind if I can get your autograph? I should be asking you. Ain't that right, Mr. Promoter? What y'all supposed to be? Nation of Islam? I'm starting to feel like everyone's out to get me. Like, none of this is even worth it anymore. You can't let it get to you, man. Legally, at least this case is between him and Paramount. You know, I came up with this idea on my bus when I was on tour. I never heard of this dude or his damn treatment. Hey, Eddie, is there any truth in Michael Michelle's claims that you came on to her? Come on, man, that's absurd. It's totally false. As you can see, I'm being attacked once again. So, Miss Michelle just made the whole thing up. Look, just someone else trying to get their shot. Look, I'm not the first comedian to make homosexual jokes. I'm not afraid of homosexuals. I don't have anything against homosexuals. I poke fun at everybody. It's just comedy. It's not real. So, this doesn't bother you? No, let them make as many ads as they want. Let them waste their money. Y'all want dessert? Because mine's like I can't win. I bust my butt doing a good picture in a supporting role, and now all of a sudden I'm the bad guy? I'm a soul loser? <laughs> You believe this guy? I saved this show. He wouldn't even have a job if it wasn't for me. Nickel. Nickel. Are you all right? I'm sick of this place. I just want to pack my things and leave. What are you talking about? We're in the middle of catching Stack Luger. We got a location and everything. Listen, Stack's Luger was in my apartment the other night. What? Are you insane? Are you harboring a felon? No, I'm not harboring a felon. But some of the things that he said make sense. Did you know Julia's experimenting on wounded military vets? She calls it a second chance. I call it disturbing. Look, you and I know we both serve on an oath, protect and serve this country. If this gets out to the media, they'll strip you of your top secret clearance. You don't think I know that? I put my life on the line every single day for this organization in this country. I did not have a choice when she was experimenting on me. Look, all I'm saying is be careful. Let's take down Stack Luger. Brush this little conversation under the rug. Nigga, who's this guy? Tell your friend to stop playing cops and robbers and let the big boys go to work. Big boys? Excuse me, sir, but I've made more technological achievements in the past 10 minutes than you've made in your entire life. Dennis Landry, ex-hacker and complete loser. You still living at home with mommy? So let's talk about this gun. Did you guys actually see a gun? Or did you just speculate there was a gun? You're a real piece of work, huh? Class of soldiers, it's a good one. Your day is coming. Coming real soon. This is your first shooting. First time you fired your weapon. How do you feel about the office, Cooper? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's tough out there, you know? But I did what I had to do. And what was it that you had to do, Officer Cooper? It sounds like you're asking me to be a snitch. <laughs> and that's something that I'm not. Oh, uh, we don't like to use that word, but we can't stop you from using it. We prefer the term Information specialist. Hey, don't worry. I'm gonna have my gun on him at all times. Plus, he sent his crew away for the night. So we good. We got you. Do you know who I am? Yeah, we know who you are, Reggie Jones. Son of Marcus and Deborah Jones. And the man that killed our daughter. And unlike your friend Carlos, you've made nothing of your life. You're still a low life piece of shit that doesn't deserve to share the same errands. So. You're an actor, right? Yeah. So act like one. Put him an Oscar-worthy performance. Convince her. Look, I don't care if you have to sell a boat house, a sailboat, whatever. The more money you make, the more money she can spend. Sell that to her. A gospel song? This ain't no gospel song. Well, I was just... We came to do R&B. We talked about this. Let's do this album for me. We can do the gospel. We can do that later. But this is a hit right here. This is what's gonna make us money. Make you famous. You trust me? Yeah, yes. No, like, do you really trust me? Yes. Well, know that I got you. Look, do this record, see how it feels, and we go from there. So what's your name? I'm Camille. Anthony. Nice to meet you. Can you believe this guy? Rookie, talking about he auditioned for my role. 
This is not just a road to me. This is the opportunity of a lifetime to betray a legend who done so much in this business. Hell, they call me Eddie Murphy Jr. I can't tell you how much this means to me, bro. Man, I ain't allow you to be a part of this. You earned this. So stop thanking me, okay? Look, this is what we talked about. Making our own way and looking out for each other. And when the world sees the work you put in this film, you're gonna be a movie star. And this is gonna be a classic. Nope. How can I help you? Well, I came to see Dion, but I think you'll do. What's your name? Julie. Nice to meet you. I'm Carl. Nice to meet you, too. Um, you have a man? I do. Would you like a better one? <laughs> Yeah, got you smiling, so my job is done already. Dion's in the back. All right. It is a Mr. Bestseller. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't embarrass me. So tell me, how'd you do it? How'd I do what? First you had squat. Now you got a book that everyone's talking about turned into a movie. Man, that's a long story. Well, listen, we got a long drive ahead of us. I got nothing but time. 